Hi everyone, welcome to this Corporate Mavs monthly update video. In this video, I'm going to go through the resources that have been added to the Corporate Mavs and the Corporate Mavs primary websites through October. So first of all, a lot of work this month has been behind the scenes. Um, so first of all, on the right hand side, we've got the search bar. I talked about that last month. And we have finally, or thankfully, uh, finished adding the icons. So whenever you search for something, you will get these sort of icons appearing. And we've had to add the images and descriptions for each of those. And that's taken a long time, but uh, thankfully it's all done now, which is absolutely great. Also, on the Corporate Mavs primary website, we were doing a lot of work on the the five a days, but without the primary references. A lot of teachers wanted those, particularly for their key stage three students. They might find that the primary five a day may be still suitable for them, but they don't want the primary references there for them. So on the right hand side, we've got the category blog. If you go there and you go to the five a days without primary references, there will be these five a days, but again, without the primary references, but we've added all those and now we've added the monthly downloads for those. So if you go to the end of each month, you'll see those monthly downloads. And currently we're adding the answers for those. So the answers to those five a days will appear over there through November. Okay, so there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes this month. Also then I've, I've had a sort of opportunity to add a lot of resources as well. So I focus on the fervent mouse resources uh, this month uh, through October and in total we have added 22 sets of answers to the practice questions and we've added nine sets of practice questions this month to those resources and um, so for instance we've added algebraic fractions equation of a normal thirds rationalizing the denominators laws of indices the product rule for counting functions uh, sequences and the quadratic m term all those sets of practice questions have been added through october to that page we've added 22 sets of answers as well so we're not going to really talk too much about those and my highlight the resource that i really enjoyed making the most out of those was the equation of a normal worksheet just because a lot of the topics is sort of that i sort of mentioned sort of are mentioned at gcse level whereas the equation of a normal sort of is um it's just sort of leading into more of the as maths so you can see here we've got some straightforward questions where we've got a sort of a parabola and we've been asked to find the equation of the tangent and normal at the point A. So sort of nice sort of y equals and x equal questions. But then the worksheet builds up and gets harder and gets harder up until the point where the students are doing sort of some problem solving. Um, it's just, it was, it's just quite nice making that resource. As well as that, so as well as the resources for Harvard Maths, I did have the opportunity to make a few resources for the GCSE course as well. So the product rule for counting practice questions have been added. That was a topic where I only had the video for the product rule for counting. I didn't have any practice questions or textbook exercises and now they're all completed so I've created the textbook exercise are uh, the exam questions the practice questions for the product for, for counting as you can see there and also the textbook exercise so it's, it's pretty nice actually focus on one particular topic for perhaps a week to make those resources this this month which was yeah, that was really great and hopefully you'll find those useful for that topic a few people whenever I've posted them on Twitter mentioned that they didn't have as many questions on the product of for content as some of our topics so hopefully they might be useful for your classroom teaching or homework or revision or however you might use them just to show that I'm still progressing on the textbook and I created the time calculations textbook exercise as well which was quite nice just because I do like questions especially appropriate today given the clocks went back uh, this morning but also it's just quite nice making resources like that just because I do enjoy these sort of like you know calendar questions and what date will it be on such and such of you know a date in you know this month and so on and um, also I like questions with time differences you can see in the apply section there's some questions where the fly the duration of the flight's given the time difference is such and such what time will it land just because I don't know I've you know whenever I'm sort of you know if I'm ever going on a long haul flight which is very often but, um, but I always find that sort of a bit sort of you know having to really think about what time will I land at and set my watch and so on and I just find those questions quite interesting okay so there's a lot of resources that have been added this month I'm really hoping November I've done a lot of behind the uh, sort of scenes work to the corporate maps and the corporate maps primary websites so I'm really hoping in November we're going to get a lot more off the further miles resources and some more textbook exercises done in November. I'm really looking forward to that. Also, um, if any of you are in a school and are looking at the revision cards, I have a uh, posted on Twitter a 10% discount code which can be used by any school or college or tutor or anyone who wants to buy the uh, revision cards in bulk and have them delivered and so we've got the 10% discount code if you go onto Twitter and you look at my uh, tweets that you go to add corporate Mavs and you scroll down you'll see the link there to the 10% discount code that 10% uh, order form whenever you look at it it looks something like this and it can be used once by every any school so you can use that form for one order it doesn't expire no it's got 2019 
2020 at the top but you can use that order form whenever you want so if you've just put in an order don't worry this the form can still be used for your next one anyway guys i really hope those resources that have added to the website are useful for you please comment below if you've got any sort of suggestions of resources that you want added in the future or things that you found useful or what you know so on uh, please comment below please subscribe to me on my youtube channel as well that'd be fantastic and guys thanks very much cheers